Welcome back design students. In this video I'm going to show you how to fix broken materials that happen when you import your static mesh object into Unreal. Now remember we spent a lot of time unwrapping uh, this asset in Maya and applying textures to it and I have spent a lot more time unwrapping and applying textures to mine as well. And you can see here that there is a material for the door, there's a material for the bench, there is a material for the roof which already has already been fixed, there is a material for the stairs and the stair railing and all of these things do not have their textures applied to them so I need to fix that. I have created a folder in my house asset folder for textures and here they are. So after you import your FBX export from Maya into Unreal as a static mesh what you'll need to do is create a folder for your textures and import all the textures that you created into that folder. So after you create the folder you open it up and you click import and then you go to your project folder and this is why project folders are so important because everything is organized and we know where it is and then you find the textures you need to import. Here is the bench, here is the door, here are the roof timbers and I'm holding down control as I'm clicking these, here's the shed, Here's the stair railing, here's the stairs, and I think that's all I need for now. So I'm going to go ahead and click open now that I've selected all those and they will import. Now you can see here that the ones I imported now have a star on them. That means they have not been saved. If you want to go ahead and save them, then select them by holding down control and selecting each one and then you can right click on them and select save and that saves them and see now the star has disappeared so before we get started I'm going to close some of these tabs I have up here and then I'm going to open my content drawer and we go back to the house folder and I'm going to start with the door so I'm going to double click that material and that brings up the material editor here and I'm going to dock that tab right here. Now what we need to do is delete this so I'm going to select it and click delete and then we need to replace that with our texture that we imported. So I'm going to go back to my level tab open the content drawer, double click on the textures folder and then I'm going to open the material browser and my content drawer went away so I'm going to open it back up and now I can drag the door texture into my material and connect it up and you will see on the preview that it appears right here. Now if you rotate around this material you'll see that it's quite shiny. Okay, We don't want that shininess there. So we need to fix that. We need to tell these three values, metallic, specular, and roughness, what to do. Right now they don't know what to do. So we're going to drag off of those nodes and we're going to type in constant. And what we're going to do is put a value on this setting. Right now the value is zero. If I click on it, you can see it down here in the details panel. Now I need two more of these. So I'm just going to hit Command C, Command V twice. And that just pasted two more. And then I'm going to connect this one to specular. And I'm going to leave the specular at zero. And then I'm going to connect this one to the roughness. Now the roughness I want to be 1 because I want it to be 100% rough. So I'm going to click that and click this setting and make it 1. And then I'm going to save my material and return to my level. And when I do, you will see that the door has now been textured. And we just need to keep doing that. I think I'm going to do the shed next. So I'm going to open up my content drawer, go to the root folder for house, and I'm going to find shed, and I don't see one for shed, so I'm thinking that this is probably the shed material, and see this is why we name our materials, I didn't name this one, so I'm going to double click it and it brings up 
as docked already. And I'm going to delete this thing, open the content drawer, go to my textures folder, and find the uh, shed texture. Drag it in and connect it to the base color, and then add my constants. And change the roughness setting to 1. And save. And let's see if that worked. It did. There's the shed, all textured. And you just keep doing that. Let's do the bench next. I'll do the roof timbers next. And then the stairs. Sorry, this is the stair railing. And let's do the stairs. stair railing. And everything is now textured. If we play, we can walk around and see how good it looks. And everything looks really nice. So that's how you import your mesh into Unreal and fix the materials. And in the next couple of videos, we're going to set up a nice render and export it. And then we should be done with this project. And I'll see you then.